Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video. Today, we are packing everything up down here in our hunting area. We are moving out. Um, we're going to be moving the blind and stuff up to where we have the hog trap, uh, just because we cannot get the hogs up there. And uh, most of the deer have been going up to the hog trap eating off that feed anyways, just because this is property line. So me and Layton did a little bit of tracking this morning to find out where the deer come from. We put up a whole bunch of cameras and uh, we've been trying to find out which way the deer is coming across the property and leaving the property. And I think we got it figured out. So we're gonna relocate the blind. It may, may be too late, but we gotta do something. Um, we're, we're in a, this is our last effort into getting us a buck. Um, as you see in the videos, the days that Leighton don't come hunting with me, um, that four point comes out. Um, two days this week, the four point come out. This morning, me and Leighton come hunting, the four point didn't come out. So uh, we're definitely going to have to try to, hopefully up there it's going to work. But Do what? I don't think as the deer, the them hogs come in last night. Wait, what time does the feed go off? They come in about midnight. Look out how bad they tore this place up. Mm. They come in and uh, they ate every last piece of the corn. And I really think, you see how they root, rooted everything out? I really think that's the reason why we didn't have any deer come in this morning. I think they smelt the hogs or, or something because usually we can hear uh deer coming through in the morning before daylight never never heard a thing last or this morning so um what we're going to be doing is moving the blind up there um and then we're going to i just filled this up the other night too hey y'all y'all don't don't mess it up guys um then we'll end up emptying the corn and we'll start using it up there so anyways uh, Yeah, sometimes, but the me and Leighton found the trail up here. I'm fixing to take you on here. They're coming this way, but the doestrin or or their scent, they're leaving their. You can actually smell the doestrin uh, when we get up here. And it's not ours. And it's not the stuff that I put out. Um, I'm, I'm tell you, the hogs come in so quick last night. They come in this direction. I see them come on camera. I'll show you a few uh, pictures right up here. Um, and they they cleared this place out within about, I'd say about 30 minutes. They they ended up getting all the corn we put out because I put some extra corn out the other night. So. And we called your trap guy to let him know, but. Yeah, I called Terry. I called Terry this morning about 12:30 because. You know, I I know it's got to be irritating. He's got that alarm on his uh, phone to let him know when the um, the hogs are inside the trap. Well, we have so many deer that go inside the trap that he wouldn't get no sleep. So last night when uh, Steph uh, woke me up and told me that their hogs were here, I got up and I called him and told him, I was like, hey, there's hogs at the other feeder, so um, if you get a notification, it's a good chance it's going to be the hogs. Well, they never went up to the other feeder, but we're ending this. We're going to move everything up there. So um, this just didn't work out. Now I've seen some bucks come across here, but not that, at not, time. not at shooting time. Um, and everything that I've seen on camera, we could have got a shot on one right up there so anyways we're going to move up here and we're going to go ahead and tear this down and then uh i'll show you this trail here in just a second so we're going to go ahead and start taking this down and we'll move it up there but before we get started um i mean i'll post a little bit more in the bit later on in the video Olat reached out to us a couple months ago and wanted to know if we'd be interested in reviewing some of their lots and said of course so we've been we've got a whole collection of them and these lights are by far the best lights I've ever used. I use them at work on my uh, duty long iron. Um, I've got to watch how I use words, but um, we I've got headlamps. We've got, uh, this in here is gonna be a little pocket flashlight. And um, you know, Daniel with Orange Family Homestead, 
he actually keeps one of these with him at all times um he's he's worked with them for a very long time but i remember when he was in law enforcement he um, always had uh these little bitty lights a pocket one they had they got some that goes on their the a headlamp but on this small one here you just twist it turn it right wow and uh you just keep it in your pocket that way you always got a lot you can put it uh, on your keychain you always got a lot so if you need to uh, open the door or whatever at night time but um, I'm going to show you the rest of this and give you more details in regards to the Olight. These, this is perfect timing. They will make great Christmas gifts. And, I, I, and I'm not just saying this. They are by far the best lights that I've ever used. And each one of these lights come with a, a, a charger that fits every light. Um, all, all, they're, they're magnet chargers, and I'll show you that later on in a video. So let's go ahead and get this started. Pull up on the tent. Give it to Addison so she can keep up to him. Or just like that. I think you need to go pick up all the rest of the stuff. Yeah, we could do that. All right, guys, since we've got everything down, loaded up, we're going to go ahead and drive up to the new area that we're going to be putting the uh, deer blind up. Since all the deer are going to the hog trap now, we're going to move up there, um, turn off the feeder so the pigs won't go down to uh, our actual food plot, and they come up there where the, uh, the hog trap is so we can get them trapped. Hopefully you made it this far in this video. Um, like I was saying earlier, O light flashlights are the best lights that I've ever used. Um, especially since I've been in law enforcement, I've used basically used Streamlight, but O light flashlights are a lot brighter uh, than Streamlight. And if you're in law enforcement or know anybody in law enforcement, brightness of light is absolutely the need in law enforcement. So, um, which this one here, I actually the Warrior I actually carry on duty, um, and then these other ones. We'll go on a long iron. Um, like I say, is I've used all of them. This one goes on my long iron. This is a short iron. Uh, this, these are the uh, the Christmas gifts that Olight sent us this year, which is come in the little Santa Claus. Put that down there, Santa Claus, which they're just like one of the Olight bubs. You can change colors, whichever color. Um, I'm going to leave that where it flashes all different colors. And then they got us the a little 
astronaut guy. And on the back, what I like about these lights, every one of their chargers are the same for the lights. So you can have this one on here and just have that plugged on on the back and you can keep this charging at all times. Um, same deal with um, this. This is a, just a lantern. Um, I got this the very first um, uh, demo they actually sent me. Uh, you can change whatever color if you want solid red, green, blue, and this one uh, goes back and forth. Same thing, this and you just change change colors, whichever, and I'm going to go ahead and put them where they alternate all the way back through. Um, which I've made several videos on these lights. By far, what I'm telling you is the truth. Several of our other friends that actually demo lights and do collaboration videos for Olight, you've got uh, Moorhead Homestead, um, Walker Farm Fan, uh, that they... They just did a video on their old lights. I'm running a little bit behind. Moorhead just did a video on their old lights. So um, I'll leave a link down below. Go click on that link. Um, with, by clicking on that link, it will save you, I believe it's 10% off. But they've got a huge sale going on right now. But be sure to click the link down below. That way um, you can actually get that extra um, sale price. But... These lights are definitely, and they got tons more lights. Um, this uh, this one that come with these today, this thing is bright, um, and and you can keep it in your pocket at all time, and it's not going to get in the way. Um, like earlier, I was outside, we was feeding, and uh, we was actually transferring the rabbits, and I said, "Hey, uh, Layton, go give me my flashlight." And I was like, "Well, I forgot, I have this one." So we used it outside, worked perfectly fine, but. Um, Hopefully you made it this far in the video. Um, I'm hoping the deer blind uh, will work where we've actually got it put up. We've only got so many days uh, left before hunting. I will be leaving Oklahoma um, here in about 15 days. I will go in a little bit more detail in that in the next video or two down the road. So guys, thank y'all so much. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. <laughs> Hold up. No. Yeah. That's fresh. Almost fresh. Oh, yeah, that's fresh. Yeah, that's fresh. You smell that? That's dough western. There's dough droppings. Oh yeah, I smell that. Oh. Mm. Oh, what the? Looks like it pooped on that too. Oh my. Look at these droppings. Flip it over, see if it's fresh. Tell if you flip it. Oh. Yeah, this might be better than our oven. Well, I think look, look, look how, look how they, they, these deer have pulled this place up. Yeah, it almost looks like pigs, but yeah. you know it's not pigs. It's not pigs, it's deer. And the reason why I know it's not pigs is because we got a camera right there. And, and it would come in. It would have caught it. So, anyways, my thinking behind this, we are going to put our blinds right up there. Um, just because this is the path that the deer come through. And, and go, meh. Yeah. And stop. Yep. Like you got it. Oh, where you lock it? Yeah. All right, guys, I get another chance to use my handy dandy chainsaw. So we're going to cut these out, 
and then we'll put it in here. I think this is a perfect spot for it. I really do. Yeah. Cut that and you're done. That's not going to try to cut. I'd leave most of it. Dang. Let me take, pick that up. Too. Push it that way, because you'll still use it. It's not when we went last year, but we hung it in there. Yeah, that's the first place, ain't it? Oh, that would be a good spot, too. Wait, but you can't get the entrance of it. Grab it. You can, you set right there. Okay. See, these sharp. Do what? That's amazing that that thing will cut something that big that fast. Oh, look, there's, there's honeybees or something. Oh no. Probably those water brushes that come by. Looks so small. It does, don't it? You might pop it open back here because it's lower where you are right now. Get that soft some. We gotta bend it out. Alright, you gotta come. Let's go out this way. Can you hold it down? Yeah, I'm up here. Uh-huh. Oh, come in here. Take this. And turn it a little bit. Yeah. Hello. Ow! Wait a while. They haven't used them in a while. That hurt.
this is one I, I was hoping to get over here without it falling off. I cut this tree, this cedar tree uh, down, and this here's attached to it. There what is that? Over there. What is that? I think it is like little bee things. Huh. I think. Like a... I'm falling my head. Somebody do it. Wait, is he coming to this back side? Mm hmm. Just put him kind of oh, like yeah. right here. Right there. All right, guys, so this is the new blind, hopefully. We'll see uh, what happens, but hopefully we'll get a deer because they, like I say, they come up here and need all the food. All the deer have been coming up here, so hopefully um, within the next it's couple a days. Smart move. Yeah, hopefully it's a smart move. Next couple days we'll have this big deer. So thank each and every one of y'all for watching. If you're not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and check that notification bell that way you don't miss any of our latest videos. Thank you and God bless.